folks. It's now Sunday morning, December 26th, 7.30 a.m. in the morning, and I'm up messing around with stuff. <laughs> I got, uh, took a bunch of time off work over Christmas, took 10 days off, and the first project of the Christmas break is this little critter. It's a wooden box, obviously, that Maureen bought at the dollar store for me before Christmas. And uh, she was on eBay, I don't know, three weeks ago. And she bought a little uh, a little project for me to uh, put together. And uh, first, I was going to stick it inside of this big old humongous thing, power supply, but I decided against that. And uh, so what I ended up doing afterwards, I decided to build it inside this wooden box. And the project that she, or the kit that she bought, is a 15 amp, not a 15 amp, a 15 watt stereo amplifier off eBay. And I decided to build it into this here wooden box. So we got a couple RCA jacks for output. Got a bind control on the input. Couple RCA jacks for input and power. And seeing the box had a nice little grill on the top, I figured that it'd be great for anticipating heat. And on the inside, right there is the actual audio or the stereo amplifier. Turn on the light here so you can see a bit better. There's the stereo amplifier uh, kit right there, that square box or square circuit board with a TDA-7297 and uh, had a big old heat sink well it's not big but should be plain enough for this heat sink from an old radio an old, uh, I think it was a Ranger RCI 2950 to be exact is what this came off of <coughs> radio was toast so she uh, she met her maker but uh, yeah so we've got the input which shares a common ground over here we got two outputs here they do not share a common ground they are separated of course we got power coming in here volume control which is on the input inside input side of the amplifier so might put a fan in this too depends how you know how warm this thing gets because I get enough room that I could probably put a fan mount it right on top of this, no problem. So that's uh, what I may do, depending on how warm, how hot this gets. But in any event, there it is. So, uh, I posted on Facebook last night some pictures of this uh, stereo amplifier. And uh, basically what I need to do now is run the proverbial smoke test on it. The DC plug is just this that literally just plugs in the side here. Kind of hard to do it with one hand, but you get the idea. Plugs in there, audio in, audio out. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to extend this, uh, this uh, power wire here. Hook it up to some 12 volts. Then we're going to dump some audio into this thing and put two nice little speakers on the output of this and uh, see if she blows up or not. I'm not sure how well this board will work, but I've seen a couple of video, one video anyway online, and it seems to sound pretty good. I guess we're soon going to find out. Anyways, I'm going to see a smoke test. I'm just dirty right far, by all means. Hang tight. We'll be right back. Well, boys, <laughs> tried the uh, the audio amplifier. Attempted to try it, and unfortunately, I have audio going into it. There's absolutely nothing coming out of it. So I'm going to show you on the scope now what I found. Okay, so the audio amplifier. This. Uh, TDA 7297 um, is amplifying no audio at all. There's audio, I verified 
everything's wired up here right power's hooked up right and your input's right and your output is right and a couple 8 ohm 50 watt speakers here more than enough for this amp and uh, basically I got audio running on my uh, from my uh, Radio Shack TRC 485 that belonged to my buddy Chris via one CEBW. But this is the audio from it going in the amplifier, as you can see. So I have audio going into the amplifier. And I confirmed it on the, on the pins on this side, on the plug. And I've also had to board out and probe the pins of the amplifier to the, uh, to the IC. The audio is getting to this IC, but it's not coming out of the IC. So I'm just going to move around my scope probes here, and I'll show you what I found on the output side of the IC. Okay, my probes are on this side. I'm going to run up on the white wire, white plug. And this is all it there. I can adjust my volume going in the amplifier makes no difference whatsoever. I can even turn off the amplifier and still make no difference. So Houston we have a problem. If I adjust the time and division, we can slow this down or speed it up. sure what this thing is trying to do but uh, it's definitely not amplifying audio anyways so I bought this kit off of eBay I've sent a message to the seller and hopefully they can rectify this issue before I uh, post my feedback <laughs> regarding the kit but anyways yeah if you see this kit on eBay with the TDA 7297 chip, you might want to uh, be careful because it may not work, unfortunately. That sucks. Oh well, spent all that time last night, spent about two hours. Three hours assembling all this, making this box nice and pretty like, only to have this not work. <laughs> anyway, that is it, I suppose. Maybe if they uh, send another one, it might actually work. Or not. Anyways, all the best, 7-3, Merry Christmas, and all that good stuff. We're in a 63, we're out of here.